Hello, my fellow parasites. Parasites, apologize! No. Anyway, welcome to Season 4 of the Venom Vlog. This season we'll be covering Venom 2 movie news, more classic Venom and Carnage stories, the Spider-Man Maximum Venom animated series, and all comics involving Eugene Flash Thompson. So sit back and enjoy another exciting episode of The Venom Vlog. I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching The Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And here we are again with more toys and another blank wall for right now. Um, although you see like a, a piece of my painting up there from the show Heroes. And then also my Venom uh, you know, artwork over here from the concept art from the movie. So you do have that, but I mean, they're kind of out of frame. Uh, I wanted a, a semi-white background. I still got to touch things up. I've, I've been taking posters down, so I got to patch up holes in the wall and repaint them soon too, because I'm moving. Um, so yeah, sorry for the boring background right now. But what we're going to talk about, you know, we'll liven it up. We have some figures. The, called the Titan Hero line for the Maximum Venom cartoon. And you saw me do a live episode, or an episode recently wasn't live, I don't think, where I just unboxed them. But I wanted to kind of give you a closer look at some of these. And then I got a couple more in the mail to complete the collection. So uh, without further ado, let's dive right in and we'll start with our two pack. Uh, first is Iron Man. Um, him and a Venomized Hulk are kind of a two pack that you can get together. And uh, and they're they run 20 bucks and you'll get both figures. And they, uh, they look really great. I like the Hulk, actually. I like his design. They kind of put the purple tongues, because you saw in the, uh, you know, the, the Patrick Brown artwork that there's, like, little tongues coming off them. So they kind of painted them on. I wish they were molded and, like, sticking out. But, you know, it, it's fine. These are, uh, they kind of reuse a lot of the molds for the bodies and stuff for these figures over and over and over. It just keeps the price point down. It, it, it keeps manufacturing costs down. So it makes sense. So it's, I'm not, like, ultimately that upset, because there is still at least a tongue sticking out there. Um, but this is an Iron Man figure that we've kind of got before. I think they did a slight redesign on him, but he's mostly, um, you know, looks the exact same. But all these figures now have ball joints in their shoulders, which is awesome. I love that they do that because uh, you remember my first time I bought some of these Titan Heroes ones, I got Venom, Carnage, and Scarlet Spider, and everybody had ball joints except Venom. He was like an old mold, and he was skinny like, you know, like this Iron Man. And I was kind of like, no, they, they used a, a mold. They should have used a Hulk mold on him instead of, a, you know, an Iron Man or a Spider-Man mold. Um, so it looks like we're going to get that in this series. So I'll show you the Venom one next. Uh, but they, of course, they don't have any knee bends. Their legs go out side to side um, like this. And then the arms can go in any direction. And then, of course, the heads can uh, rotate side by side. But that's pretty much it. This one's a little tight in there. Um, so, yeah, so be, be wary of that. But these are kind of designed for kids. You know, obviously, they're not for really for adult collectors. I just like them because they have a presence. Like when I make my YouTube videos, there are sometimes where in older episodes where I'd have a shelf behind me full of toys and people would go, hey, I, I can't see what toys are back there. And I'm like, yeah, sometimes the Marvel Legends and the six inch figures, they don't read that well behind me and they don't look that good on a shelf as a background item, but these do. So I kind of buy them as props for the show, really. Um, that's kind of why I own them, to be honest with you. Um, these ones are neat. And I don't know if Iron Man, does his wrists... Uh, yeah, his wrists do turn too. So I, I forgot to mention that. I saw that Hulk's here, um, his wrist turn. So it looks, I'm glad that Iron Man's does as well. So yeah, we have wrist joints, no elbow joints, but we do have the ball joint in the shoulder, which is cool. The head does turn side to side uh, and the legs do go out. But that's, that's it. It's just, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points of articulation and uh and that just again it's because they're for kids they're just to smash together <laughs> you know um and uh, when they're playing and stuff so yeah but they look nice on the shelf they have a nice presence to them um being you know a foot tall each so that's really great so uh, you'll see them in upcoming videos when i move to florida and i you know figure out how i'm going to do my background and everything um but yeah you'll see these guys uh, in the background in future videos then we also have here captain america venomized so the two pack you get those two guys for 20 bucks Captain America here was $15, uh, and that's because you get him, um, but you can also take off the Venom armor on him. Um, and then he has, like, this Venom crossbow <laughs> for some reason. He's not Hawkeye, but uh, but unless this is the Hawkeye version of Cap, because Hawkeye was Cap very briefly. But this does shoot a missile out, so... Um, that way, so be careful, you know, don't shoot it in your own face or eye. And if you do, record it and put it on YouTube because it'll be hilarious. Um, but then also you have the shield here and you can take the symbiote off of the shield too, which looks awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, I love this. This design of him and the sculpt is cool. This is reused. I don't think they changed anything of him. Um, even the paint job, I think, is the same exact because I saw, you know, just a version of Cap before 
just you know it was just captain america and it was like 9.99 or whatever that's the normal price of these figures but when they come with extra stuff like this they mark it up a little bit for the extra plastic i guess so yeah he's 14.99 and you can get him, and I get, you get all these actually at Walmart.com. That's where I bought them all. The day, so at uh, at New York Toy Fair, um, Ben Promsky, who does the voice of Eddie Brock and Venom in the upcoming Maximum Venom cartoon, he was at New York Toy Fair, and he was there to show this off. And he met um, Lorraine, uh, who was you know someone who she's like a spokesperson for Marvel and does some of their YouTube content and online content. And uh, the two of them were at the you know booth. And they were talking about these toys and uh, and they were showing them off. And then at the end of the video, they said, you can buy these toys right now at, you know, at walmart.com. So go. So I immediately went to walmart.com and bought the whole collection. And they were like, came with free shipping. They had all kind of deals on them. They knocked uh, some of the price down on them. So it was a pretty cool deal to buy them uh, the weekend of New York Toy Fair. Uh, so the next figure we have coming up here, oh, it's a lady. We have Spider Gwen, a.k.a. Ghost Spider. I'm not a big fan of the Ghost Spider name. Um, I guess they can't just run around and call her Spider Gwen, so it, I guess on some level it makes sense uh, because that just gives away her secret identity. Uh, but I, I was introduced to her as, you know, Spider Gwen, and I, I like that name. I don't know. I'm a Gwen Stacy fan. That's why. Uh, but I like the comic. It was a pretty fun comic book. And uh, I like the concept, an alternate universe where Gwen Stacy becomes the spider character and Peter Parker becomes the lizard. And he dies the way like Uncle Ben dies in the main universe. And Peter Parker's death is what inspires Gwen to learn about power and responsibility. So I kind of liked it. I was like, yeah, it's a cool little what if world that they, you know, continue to go with. And I'm like, well, I don't know if they, maybe they should have continued it too long. Uh, but I did like the run overall. And in the run, she does become a Venom character known as Gwenom. <laughs> and uh, and so now Gwenom is going to be appearing on the show because she gets her own symbiote. And look at that mold there. They put a little mouth right on her hip, which is <laughs> it's so gross looking. Um, but they add all these like little tentacles and stuff on her back. And again, this is for those weapons. So you can ch exchange like, you know, Captain America's crossbow you can put on her. I don't know why you would do that, but I guess this is just so you can mix and match with other characters and other weapons that other characters have. But she's just $9.99. She doesn't come with any weapons. She just comes like this. So again, ball joint here ball joint there um the wrists on her do not move though they do not move at all um because it, i don't know she just has these cool claw hands and he decided not to to have any articulation there um she's got the blue at the bottom of her shoes just like the you know comic book and uh, spider verse movie version she's got the legs that go in and out and then she has the head that turns so uh yeah she you can pick her up for 9.99 spider gwen or gwenum is what they call the figure and that makes sense because uh, that's what her comic book name was uh, but uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. And I like just the cheesy campiness of the name Gwenum. It's so like, uh, you know, <laughs> like 70s uh, kind of naming of comic characters. And, and I always dig that kind of stuff. Uh, so then we have here, uh, we have Miles Morales, uh, who is like, he looks like Spider Carnage. I wish they would just call him Spider Carnage. Uh, yeah, he's so cool looking. And uh, I love the red symbol on him and his face looks great. Uh, the claws are awesome. I love the red bleeding into the black there. Um, they do put little mouths on him. So he's got a little mouth molded right on his shoulder, uh, which is gross and awesome that they did that. Um, he's got these ripples and, and ten tendrils and tentacles coming out of him. He's got little mouths back here too. Um, you know, so again, these are for kids. They're not you're really meant for adult collectors, but uh, you know, I, I dig them. I mean, I've kind of always been a fan of these since they started making them. Cause like I said, they have a really good presence when you put them on a shelf and you use them for props in, in your, you know, your video, if you're like making your set, uh, which is definitely something I want to do better when I move to Florida and have my own place, I want to build a nicer set for the Venom vlog show. Um, so yeah, he looks great and I love his design and I can't wait to see him in the show for sure. And then the last one, last but not least, of course, is Venom himself. Uh, this is another, I think he might be $14.99 also because he's bigger. Um, so I think he might also be $14.99. I can't remember what the price on him was. But uh, yeah, it's somewhere between $9.99 and $14.99. So if you pay $14.99, don't be upset by that. I think that might actually be his price. Um, but he's such a better mold this time. They, they clearly use the same body for him as they did Hulk back there. Because you can see these little blades here are the same on the Hulk back there on his arm. Um, so it's the same you know mold for the most part. They just made two fists. They changed out the hands. Uh, so that's another reason why they put articulation in these hands. Is so when they're manufacturing these, they can just swap different hands on them. And it's really easy to do. Uh, so that's why he has open hands and Hulk has fist hands. Plus Hulk smashes, you know. <laughs> so that's another reason why he has fist hands. Um, but then, you know, the head moves here too they added a really nice long tongue um, which looks awesome that he's got green in his mouth slime coming down when his mouth's opening which is really cool too and his mouth opens up really far back here uh, they did a really good job on that mold 
which is so, so cool. Um, then the legs again, you know, come out, go in and out and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I wish the spider was a little bit higher. I don't know why it's kind of like stops in the middle of his pecs there. Um, I wish it kind of went all the way up here, but, uh, that's just such a, n a small nitpick. It's, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, he's, like I said, he could be 1489 or he might be 999. I can't really remember, but he's a completely blocking Steve Rogers there. <laughs> he's completely blocking, uh, you know, Captain America Venom. Um, but yeah, so there's kind of the collection, uh, minus Steve. You can't really see him back there, but maybe I'll try to do that. Uh, there we go. That's the best I can do for now. Um, but yeah, I, these are awesome. They're the Titan Heroes figures. I really dig them. And, uh, you can pick them up, like I said, at walmart.com. If you go to walmart.com, I'll put a link down below. And I think I did in my previous episode too, where it'll link you right to a, um, like a, a kind of like a, a sub page on the Walmart website that just lists all the Maximum Venom stuff. It doesn't list the clothing because there are some t-shirts coming out, uh, some of which I already got, um, you know, from Hot Topic, which was awesome. But there is like like one or two like ones that are coming out at Walmart as well. So they're really pushing this, like this Maximum Venom thing. And I knew this was coming for a while uh, because I, I, you know, I couldn't talk about it before. I, you know, work at, uh, you know, Lego and I knew about the Venom, Maximum Venom figures that were coming out or the Lego sets that were coming out. And I was like, well, if they're doing Lego, that means they're going to do a push along line so i reached out to a couple people who also that i know who work in toys and they were like oh yeah like you know don't say anything which i didn't you know and they were like you know but we have we definitely are going to do a big push for maximum venom and i'm like great thanks for letting me know because i'll try to prepare time you know to you know cover some of these toys and any ones that i can afford i'll buy them and show them off to you guys like these aren't really reviews these are just me just showing off these awesome figures and uh hoping that you know it gets the hype up for the show because i'm excited for it like i saw a lot of people out there again people who don't know what the show is going to deliver um um, and they haven't watched the previous seasons. And I'll be honest, I haven't watched them either. But I started to once I, you know, learned about the show. And once I met Kevin Burke and Doc Wyatt, uh, the, you know, these writers that work on the show. And I've met them and they've been awesome. And they showed me a lot of cool stuff. So to prepare you guys for the new show, I am going to be doing some episodes that focus on Spider-Man and Venom in cartoons. So we already covered the 90s animated series. But coming up, we're going to talk about Venom and his appearance in Spider-Man Unlimited. Uh, we're also going to talk about his appearances in Cincinnati. Sensational Spider-Man, and then an Ultimate Spider-Man, Web Warriors, all that. We're going to try to do a nice little, you know, video series, um, maybe like four or five videos that kind of just give you the quick history of Venom in different cartoons and kind of help set you up for Maximum Venom, which is going to start in April. And it's going to be six, I think, one hour movies, uh, pretty much is what's going to happen. So when you count commercials, it'll be about 40 minutes or so, 40 to 45 minutes for each episode. Uh, but that's cool. I love that format and I love that they're going to do it. It's about an invasion of symbiotes, almost like Venomized in a way, but just without the poisons. And it's going to be symbiotes or Planet of the Symbiotes, where all these symbiotes come to Earth and they take over the heroes. And Venom and Spider man venom being eddie brock venom and spider-man are as from what i understand um is are going to be focal points of the story obviously spider-man is but I, I know a lot of people out there were worried that venom eddie brock they're like oh he hasn't gotten any love on the show before you know is he going to be in this series yes he is and uh you know and i only know that because i got to meet ben Promsky at you know d23 and the writers there and he answered a lot of questions about playing eddie brock and you know you know hope hopefully you know he couldn't give away obviously too much about maximum venom but he was saying like well i'm up here on stage and you know so yeah obviously i'm i'm here in it for the long haul. And so uh, I'm excited. And this is going to end, the Maximum Venom cartoon is going to end kind of the shared animated universe that they've built from Ultimate Spider-Man. Although I think they're, they retconned some of Ultimate Spider-Man, but like Guardians of the Galaxy, Hulk, Agents of Smash, a lot of those had a shared continuity. Some of it still exists. And this show is going to kind of be an end to all of that and the Avengers show that they made. So yeah, it'll be pretty fun. So hopefully you guys are on board for that. And I will definitely do reviews of that series when it comes out. But let me know what you think of these. Uh, like I said, go pick them up at Walmart, whether you like one of them or all of them, pick them up, add them to your collection. They're freaking awesome. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about them in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.